I'll say this again. It's the most important lesson. Poor people don't know the difference between real money and fake money. And that is what it comes down to. So it was in 71, you know, this used to be a silver certificate. Now it's a Federal Reserve IOU. It used to be back with silver. And then in 71, Nixon took the gold out of it. Johnson took this out of the silver certificate. The lesson again is poor people don't know there's between real money and fake money. And that's why in Rich Dad Poor Dad, I said the rich don't work for money because it's fake. This stuff is getting harder to find right now. And I was panicking because I, I deal with a lot of guys who have gold and silver. So I, I called my friends up. We cannot get silver. I went, what? This is about, what, seven, eight months ago. We couldn't get silver because I was panicking. I was going, you know, because because this is fake. Yeah, It's terrible. Well, and because they can print it so much that the value is dropping every day. They print right. up uh, billions every day. Where's that money coming from? Well, they, they've got to print it. Or they've got to create something through uh, a keystroke entry. That means all the rest of those Federal Reserve notes out there become worth just that much less every day. Yeah, this this is trash. So I'll say it again. The difference between rich people and poor people, rich people know the difference between this and this. And so the Republic Monetary Exchange, there's a lot of people out there. Dana Samuelson, my friend, is my expert in numismatic. And I was impressed because you guys had inventory. My other friend, Jerry Williams, was out. And I, I said, what the hell? This is a while ago. What the hell's going on if it's running? So so it, it must mean people are, there's something going on because people would rather have this than this now. And this whole system is fake right now. And I say to, I've been saying this for years. This is God's money. This is fake money. I like Bitcoin. I call it people's money. Now, I don't know much about Bitcoin, but I'm just glad I bought it at six. <laughs> That's all I know right now. <laughs> I've been saying this for years. I used to work for Lear, still have Lear Capital ads. I said, buy silver. And the reason is everybody can afford this. I I think this is about 30 bucks. Everybody in the world can afford 30 bucks, but they'd rather have this. This stuff is fake and this is real money. I've been in business 72, my first first gold coin. I still have that gold coin. So Jed, tell tell us about um, what you have right here. You have silver and you have gold. So I, I have a kilogram of silver which is 32.15 ounces, and then I have a 10-ounce gold bar. So this is January 2023. What would this cost me if I walked into your place, Republic Monetary Exchange? What would that cost me? Uh, just, just this, just, just over $900, $900 for that for kilogram. That? Yeah. yeah. My God, and how much is this thing here? That's going to be around two th- over 2000 20, 2050 or more. You get the, you know, this is 2000 this is a gold... Eagle, American gold American eagle. American gold eagle. And that's 900 Right, that's a kilogram of silver. This is going to be close to $20,000 for this gold bar. What, what is that now? 10 ounces of gold. I'm one of the few people who absolutely despise cash for buying gold. And you'd think just the opposite, that I couldn't wait to get cash. But banks don't want it. Try and deposit twenty dollars or $50,000 in cash. I would rather have a bank wire than cash anytime. But... He doesn't want cash. And I thought the reason is, is because it might be dirty or, you know, it's hot money or whatever it is. It's just a pain in the butt. Well, it's that, but you know what else? I'm thinking down the road. Let's say I acquire a million or two million dollars in cash that the banks don't want to take. When this currency is repudiated, I'm going to be stuck. Just like the people in Germany were twice in the 20th century that the, the they were hauling wheelbarrows full of uh, Deutschmarks for a basket of groceries. Jim's attitude now about cash is really illustrates that the government, the deep state, has won this war. Without legislation, without public debate, they have won the war against cash. You know, they've been at war at cash because it's anonymous, that they, they don't track you, they can't follow you when you use cash, and they've won the war. Yeah. And so the only alternative people have to be to be off the grid not to be tracked, not to be surveilled, gold and silver. That's it. That's all. In 1964, I was 17 years old. And I started looking at that thing like this. It was copper. The Romans did the same thing way back in the end of their empire. So what did what did what were they doing when they put copper in this thing? The law called Gresham's Law. Well, what does Gresham's Law mean? Bad uh, bad money drives good money out of circulation. Is poor people don't know real money from Fake, fake money. So what happened in 71, this became debt. You know what they're doing, the dollar. You know that they keep print, printing them. They can't print gold. You t- 
tell me how much you can afford to lose of all that money sitting in the bank. And I would say, leave that there and get the rest of it in gold. It's a bigger risk having paper money. It's a guaranteed, it's it's a guaranteed loss. And, and eventually, these are going to be worthless. A currency has never lasted more than 50 years until now. And we're in year 51. Look what they, they've done in Venezuela. Become They were one of the richest countries in the uh, in South America and, and actually the Western Hemisphere. Look what they've done to Argentina. Look what they've done in Cuba. Look what they've done in Mexico. They the same exact economic principles that they broke there. We're yeah, doing the same thing. And I think that's one of the reasons I'm a rich person is I know real from fake. <laughs> and then right. so when Nixon took the dollar off the gold standard in 71, what, what is this today? Uh, 2050. So why would you save this trash? <laughs> you know, that's, that's what I'm saying here. It's fake. How about that to sum it up? That's fake. It's a trick. And today, this is the biggest reason you want to own gold. Because our pensions, you know, as we keep raising interest rates, our 401ks are going down. It's our pensions are broke. So as the firefighters, police officers, school teachers, their pensions are gone. So the Fed's going to have to print. That's my that's my whole summation. You get your statement online every month and it says, oh, my God, look, I have five hundred thousand dollars in my pension plan. Boy, that's going to last me until um, the year uh, 2050. It's not going to. The dollar's not going to be there, first of all. And the pensions are gone, too. But gold will be there forever. Be here. This is God's money. I mean, they, they, we used to have money for about 5,000 years. If this bar had been in the bottom of the ocean for 500 years, it'll still be in this pristine condition. It right. doesn't rust. It doesn't erode. It will do the same thing now, 500 years later. But that's the problem. I'd rather I save this. Savers are losers because they save this. If you save this... And if you save this, what is this here? Thirty dollars. Yeah. Well, what? What? what silver. Kind of, it's a silver round. But I'd rather save this because this will be here ten thousand years from now. This won't. You know, you can pass it on for generation to generation to generation. So anyway, we're we're in very serious serious trouble here, and uh, this is the hottest subject going for years. I've been saying buy silver because everybody can afford silver. You know. When I, when I offered them this for three bucks, they went nuts. Well, why would I buy that? Because they'd rather have this. That's the lesson. And now it's my, our generation, the boomer generation, is in serious trouble for retirement because I don't think it's going to be there. Lost we, the, we, the American people lost 26% in their 401ks in the last, last year through this through October. So it's very great. And that doesn't even take into consideration the appreciating dollar to go with yeah. it, too. We're beyond the point of no return. Yeah. The sad thing about it is, as the price of gold goes up, everybody else gets poorer. That's just, that's that's what breaks my heart. Those, those I love love those girls at at Safeway serving me their salad and coleslaw and all this, and it just blew their mind. They said, two dollars for this, but that's what America has sold its people. It's sold the world there that this is valuable and this is fake. Yeah, this is real. This that's is fake. fake. But. Well, two last things, okay? There's a thing called dis- distribution and accumulation. Price of gold, is silver is low, and silver and gold or oil, I'm accumulating. I've been accumulating since 72. I own more gold than most people, most of the gurus on TV. I own gold mines, silver mines, because I believe in this stuff, because this is God's money. This is fake money. Thank you, gentlemen. <laughs>